Hello, welcome to SharePoint Journey. This is Devendra Veligenla. In this lesson, you will learn what is site columns and how to develop site columns using Visual Studio 2013. Okay, so site columns are basically reusable column definitions which can be assigned to multiple lists across multiple SharePoint sites. Let's say you have built a site column which of scope uh, site collection and you can use that particular site column inside many lists or lists in different sites or subsites within the site collection okay so we'll see a demo uh, how to develop a site columns using visual studio 2013 and this is the elements.xml file which rep represents the field or the column so id is for the uh, unique representation of guid and name is internal column name and display name is how it will be visible for the end users and what is the type of that particular column whether the column is mandatory or not and the group is we can group certain columns to one group so that is the group name let's go ahead and open the visual studio so we're gonna create empty sharepoint 29 project so to create that click on file new project and choose sharepoint rotate and empty project name this one as site columns okay click ok i'm gonna create this one also as handbox solution and the site which i want to debug this is sharepointjourney.com click on finish to create project okay now we have created the project which is of sandbox solution type you can check using the properties and box solution equal to true okay. so let's to add a new site column okay, right click on the project let's click on add click on new item under this scroll down you have an option called site column here okay and name this site column as speechy just the suffix shape point journey site column okay click add to create a side column for this project once you add a side column or a new item what happened is it created a feature automatically so as we have seen in the previous lessons how to build the features so all the artifacts which are going to develop we're going to develop using features okay so let's rename this feature also as pg side column okay and we always try to build the site columns with the scope of site collection level so that that can be used in the sites as well as the sub sites within the site collection okay and i'm going to rename this as speech site column okay feature 2 deploy the side columns for SharePoint journey okay this is the description and you can see here this feature is having items here now this item is having what one of the site column okay so go to elements.xml file by clicking here you can see here this field is having GUID and the name is internal name and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change these details as SPG first underscore name there should not be any spaces in the internal name okay so display name I'm going to say first name type I'm going to make it as text okay required is false here I'll say SPJ side columns. Okay, now we have field has been defined. Okay, now we have the required side column. Okay, so what we can do is we can rebuild it and straight away we can deploy from a Visual Studio. Okay, so let's keep an eye on output window. Right click this, 
deploy the solution okay we have a duplicate name uh, no problem let's rename this as lost name okay deploy now and keep an eye on output window what happens so <coughs> it has activated the respective feature okay we have similar solution which has been retracted and deleted the solution okay and it added the solution back deployed the solution activated the feature now to check the site columns from the site where should I go here is I have to go to site actions site settings under galleries first we have to see whether our solution is deployed or not go to solutions you can see here site columns has been activated and to check site columns under galleries you have option called site columns click on site columns and under groups check for SPJ site columns you can see here last name field or the site column has been developed using Visual Studio okay so one more thing is let's say now for the one column I mean uh, one field we have just used Visual Studio and uh, get the schema what about if you want to build a few more columns okay in those case we can use one of the uh, important tool for SharePoint developers that is SharePoint manager so we can create a column from this site okay then we can get the schema from SharePoint manager then use that schema and put it in Visual Studio I'll just show you now what I'll do is I'll go to site settings site columns okay I'll create one column called uh, student marks okay which is of number type and I'm going to keep that one is in SPJ site columns and I'll click OK now if I go here we have two columns but when you are deploying in production you will be giving a WSP to the administrator and he will be deploying it he will not do all these things so that is the reason we are developing all the artifacts using Visual Studio now what we have to get is we have to get the schema of this particular column okay now to do that I'll just refresh this particular node SharePoint journey so even you can I mean if you make any changes you can refresh the entire nodes also and go to fields now search for that particular column which is student marks okay let's go down go down go down student yes t yes you can see here the new column has been created and you can see here even the group is SPJ side columns which you have created okay and if you go to schema you can see here the entire schema is available you can simply copy here and paste it in the visual studio so as simple as this that is the good thing about SharePoint manager it speeds up your development activity so you create it from out of box okay put the entire uh, schema here and use the fields which are required and develop the required site column okay so you can keep all this information if you want otherwise you can remove it I don't need to have static name see if you give the spaces while creating the columns this is what happens now what I can do is as I am developing from Visual Studio I can remove these spaces I can put only one underscore okay and uh, even I can remove the source ID and I can remove indexed by default it will be false even I can remove this okay and type is number I can keep these values 
so before deploying what I'll do is I'll remove this particular column which I have created I have removed the column now I'm going to redeploy this solution deploy again keep an eye on output window it has been deployed successful now let's go ahead and see what are there in the side columns go to SPG side columns now we can see student num student marks is available so this has been deployed using Visual Studio so uh, you don't need to worry about uh, remembering the syntax and all those things you can use SharePoint manager and you can get the scheme of whatever the field which you want to develop okay let's go back to the slides so in this lesson we have seen what are the side columns and how to develop those side columns using Visual Studio 2013 in SharePoint 2013 2010 sorry thank you for watching this session we'll see you in next lesson